Yo, today is May 6th, 2023. It's 2.09 a.m. And despite the forecasts seemingly not showing us getting activity tonight, uh, or showing that we wouldn't get anything, it would just go, like, whatever storms would go east of us, they've gotten this far south and... Uh, there's clearly storm activity at least north of Houston, and it looks like conditions are kind of in the area. So um, looking at, if we look at the radar here currently, you can see the conditions are starting to be in the Houston area, like actually. And up here, there's a lot of... Uh, Based on this, there's a lot of lightning. Also based on um, this seems to indicate that as well. So, let's see for a sec. So I figured, <clears throat> why not do some more experimentation tonight? Um, doesn't look like there's particularly that much lightning. Maybe, at least in this specific area, but in previous videos, like, or in the previous video, you only really need, like, the, like this color green, maybe even, for there to be lightning activity. I mean, it doesn't particularly matter if it's, if the DBZ on this chart is really high or not, like, right here. If it's this color, 58, or as opposed to 26, as opposed to... Twenty two or something. Anyway, I don't think there needs to be an insane amount. I'm not seeing a lot of lightning uh lightning on the webcams either of Houston. So if we look here, I haven't seen a lot of lightning yet. That doesn't mean Okay, that was the reflection of some lightning. So it looks like it's finally starting to show up on the webcam. Um I'm actually recording on this computer. Um, so I'm going to try to record the webcam and sync it up. Uh, this one will be, I guess this will be, uh, we'll have it facing downtown. The issue is both of them face downtown tonight. Here's the other one that they have up. Both of them are kind of facing that way. And you can, I think you might have just seen something there. But in any instance, uh, this might be better because you can see above but I don't know. I don't know. The other one's kind of like the face. It's like front facing of the city too. But this would give you a good like view that you should be able to see what's going on where. So anyway, okay, I'll, I'll figure it out. But um. Since we saw the first one already on here, I'm going to change it to that. And uh, I'm going to go set the GoPro up as well. So I'm going to go do that right now. And, um, you know, you're starting to see, like, lightning in the area now. And it, it looks for sure like the east side is going to get hit like by some storm activity, it's already like the northeast side is already starting to be. So eventually that does kind of get into view like on here and just out the window. I mean, you could see far away. So we'll see maybe if uh, we can get some of that, but it could also be we could just get some lightning above. So uh, maybe Yahweh can work the conditions out and like bring us some something interesting so uh i stayed up and i stayed up and well it's 2 13 i mean i've stayed up later for storms but i was i mean i was pretty tired today so uh i had some coffee uh right before this so kind of you know i got a brew going mad scientist vibe here anyway uh <laughs> Let me do this too.
Oh, the noise suppression is hard. Okay. Well, wow. Interesting. So when I put the cameras up, you should be able to see pretty well still. I'll open this when I get back.
it's not. Okay. Um, give me a second to set this up. Seen some thunder already, and uh, I mean, seen some thunder, seen some lightning already. Um, it was just to the north of us, so I think the camera's facing. It's relatively quick face, or you know, as as good of a direction as it can look, because I'm not exactly sure where this is going to show up. Plan on facing this camera. Oh, I'm going to be in here too because I don't. Yo. Hey. Well. Might be a good environment to test in because it's. Hold on. Not being blocked by the. The chair.
Because my right knee or whatever. You can hear that. So in the past, over the past several videos, you know, I'm doing these lightning experiments and seemingly, specifically, um, as I'm sitting back here and like trying to get into my hip, seemingly a large number of times uh, in the most recent storms, which are going to be in the most recent storms um, and in the videos that I've posted. Getting into this hip has led to like numerous instances of lightning, like significant instances with crazy lightning. And in, I think the previous video I talked about, like, well, if I see, you know, some kind of pattern, like I'll try to reproduce it. Like, I don't think Yahweh has to do anything any one specific way. And, like, this is kind of even what I'm talking about, the conditions. It's, like, for, you know, storm activity, because it's, like, well, they're in the area. Like, there's a flash there. The, the conditions are in the area. It's not, like, clearly it's not really raining here, but the conditions are in the area, and... They weren't really scheduled to be, you know. That was that's part of my part of my point here. I feel like when I checked Instagram, it, there was another. Uh, <laughs> I you know I can't exactly see. I just saw that it, there's some flashes then. But when I checked Instagram, it was like another one of those things where I just feel like. It just feels like playing a game or something like the you know whatever the thing is I mean it just like so in my story and pictures on my phone um, I'm just likening it to like a game essentially which is not honestly I don't enjoy it oh, there's some lightning so here we go I, I do think we're getting something so this is pretty cool because we weren't scheduled to get anything Pretty much all the forecasts said it was going to miss. And it wasn't until I saw that it was like going past the area that... That was, um, it wasn't forecast to be... Oh man, here, I'm just going to show this. This looks pretty crazy. There was something. It looks like it's off to the west, where these are more emanating from. Though that one that I think that happened with the thunder that you could hear, I do. I think that was kind of more over us.
Ooh, I'm getting like into the thing right now. That was some pretty cool lightning. This is really cool because this was not forecast. So this is, this is off the cuff. Is this me summoning storms now? <laughs> I have a feeling like, so the thing that I'm talking about is, I just feel like I'm in some kind of like weird, I'm playing some kind of weird game against like, I don't know, a bunch of different people. And like one of the antagonists seems to be Alessandro Ambrosio. And, uh, <laughs> like, m m I think maybe she's this Jezebel like character or something. Um, but from, from Revelation 2.20. Because it's someone that I'm dealing with, and, uh... Just hear some thunder off in the distance. Oh, and it's starting to rain a little. <sighs> okay, well... Anyway, so it seems like Alessandro Ambrosio, like... I just feel like is a bad guy, you know? I don't, uh, I would like, you know, I'd like her not to be, honestly, but <laughs> just like every gut instinct and like, by the way, when you see me doing this, it's my knee, I'm like slowly shifting the weight into my right side. If I'm like this, the left side is also kind of bracing. Just FYI. So that I can tell it or so that whoever is watching that wants to like look at this. But um also I'm gonna put my watch on functional strength training. <laughs> Partially because I wanna be able to measure my heart rate more. Cool, that was right right as it in <laughs> did its third beep. Um,
that was right like that's the first time okay i've already brought up i feel like there seems to be a lot of lightnings when i do this like get into this kind of like lunge almost just exerting through the right side One of my thoughts is I should just, you know, a lot of this is like a learning experience. So I figured I'd ask Yahweh, like, what, what should I do? You know what I mean? Like, what do I learn to, like, what do I, what should I focus on? What should I be? engaging one of my thought another thought that I have is you know the early part of a storm is usually like as it first comes in they seem to be the most chaotic parts and then after that things get you know you can like engage and interact or I've been able to in previous ones but normally the like when it's first kicking up or first if it's a line if it's passing over it's like that first part it's just a very chaotic event this is great though because we weren't scheduled to have any and i i definitely think this is because uh you know it seems like i'm pretty sure alexander ambrosia is like Out to make me feel bad. <laughs> I'm pressed in on this leg, but not, not completely, but, or not like as much as I could be, but I'm, uh, planted. I'm like working my way in. See, that was pretty instant. So maybe I, you know, some of it, am I syncing up with the storm, like as it comes over? And so it takes a little bit into the first part. I, you know, I don't know, I'm just expecting it. It's, <laughs> this, <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's the thing is, I'm not sure there's any actual rule set. It's just what Yahweh wants to do. And it's something that he can form up around at any point. But it's really easy for him to just like this. Like I said, this wasn't forecast. This is like, um, Um, I noticed that it got it unfocused, so I just want to make sure it's focused. Part of it is that's why it's good to have the tree light up. Like, I feel like the house is a good indicator of what it's lighting up, so that you can see that with the iPhone. The, the house directly ahead. And um, the tree line keeps it, like, focused properly. And you can judge how much rain is coming in by how much rain you can see coming through that light. Coming through the street light. Okay, let's see. This always seems to be lightning generative. I don't know, I can't see. Fortunately, I did put the GoPro face in. The GoPro got some incredible footage, so, you know... Getting pretty hard. 
I'm surprised, uh, you know, I, my whole thing is, I definitely feel like I'm in some kind of Truman Show type thing, right? So, but I'm looking at what I'm seeing, it's like, I see way more insane lightning on my videos at this point uh, than pretty much anybody's. <laughs> like, even when they're way out in the middle of nowhere, like, sure, there's some crazy lightning events in cities sometimes. But... Can you see this? I'm standing on one foot right now. It's kind of hard to do, like... I try to do it more here. It's just I have more room when I'm backed up a little bit. So yeah, I'm always talking about Truman Show type stuff. my right leg. I mean, I can't see some of these, but I, I'm pretty sure they're in view of the GoPro. So, you know, we'll see when I put this all together, but That one looked pretty crazy, and there's the thunder to it. And I'm going to sync up the... This is recording the... Like, that... If you just saw a flash, that was the flash that just happened. That's how off it is. So, I'm going to try to get it. And it's like, you know, that's as off as like a live camera, or I mean, as close as you can get with a live camera. But... We'll see what happens. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm really agitated with uh, these videos sometimes because the two cameras, the GoPro and the iPhone, record at slightly different frame rates, and so you can't sync them up properly uh, without converting them first. And it's just a long, it's like a long process. I don't want to have to go through it. And I don't even think it, like, I think it'll slightly degrade the quality of the video, too. So, uh, <laughs> it's just frustrating when it comes to, um... Trying to get this kind of set up, uh... Synced up. Just because of how, uh, <laughs> how, like, you could sync them up perfectly, but then they're gonna be off at some point, because they're just, it's just a little off in how, uh, fast they, fast they move, right? Or how many frames they show per second. So, here's a tip. Manufacturer, you say 60 frames? be exactly at 60 frames. That way when people try to sync up their stuff, it's just at 60 frames. I don't know, is this some kind of standard thing? That's the thing is that even if there's a standard, well one of them's wrong, <laughs> but I think the standard would be 60 frames, right? Okay, now maybe we're starting to see stuff that way. Man, this feels good. You hear that pop?
there anything you'd like to show Yahweh? I don't know, it, like, the clouds are moving the other way from where the line, like, came in and connected with everything, so... Or maybe? I don't know, it's not even hard to tell, honestly. No, I think I'm right. I was trying to look into specifically what the muscles were named, like even beyond quads and everything, just like, um, figure out like what muscle, like the name of what muscle I think has given me this issue or what part it is. And I think it's the biceps femoris uh, and where that connects in, like that's what it looks like as far as thing that I'm feeling like right here I think but it's also into like whatever connects here and you know I feel it up here and that's definitely not it so I think it's more than just imbalances in certain places but that one is I think the one that I really like maybe it's in here but So I think the conditions are still here. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure which way they're headed. So we might be able to... I don't know. I mean, is this... Is this summoning the storm? Yahweh, you want to... You're in charge. Teach me what I need to know. A lot of it just seems to be like, you know, I've talked about the right hand and right side and right arm and stuff. And in Revelation, Jesus is like opening a scroll in the right hand of he who is and was and will be Yahweh. <clears throat> and he's opening this scroll, which I think is associated with like he sits down with Yahweh and so like when he's sitting down the equivalent of that scroll is mentioned in Revelation 1 it's the seven churches or the stars of the seven churches I think I've joked it's like the dragon balls right he has this he has the seven he has all the dragon balls he has the dragon by the balls right and, uh, <laughs> this, um, the, like, seven star, seven stars in his right hand, I believe are what, when it talks about conquering at the seven churches, it's like conquering at those which are in his right hand. And he conquers at the seven seals in the right hand of Yahweh, and then like sits down with him. And so if they're both, 
like sat down, like imagine I'm in a throne and I'm sitting here and I have this scroll in my hand and then Jesus comes and sits down and like is imposed on me, like superimposed on me. And then I have, I mean, he has the seven stars where that seven sealed scroll thing is. And so like, I think the seven churches are like, hypothetically, if I'm the one meeting the challenges at the churches, which I feel like I am, the whole Alessandra Ambrosia thing that I was talking about earlier is like, I'm pretty sure she's Jezebel. I mean, I could be wrong, but she's like number one, very high up on the candidate list. Um, <laughs> but uh, Emily Ratajkowski's on that list too, uh, just FYI. But, <laughs> um, so as I'm thinking like, okay, I'm the one that's conquering at the seven churches. As I'm conquering at those seven churches, it's, I'm experiencing the seven churches situation. And then, then the seven seals are like, I don't know what, uh, what like other people are experiencing I mean I, I assume that the churches could also be if people if other people believe but I think he would also have to admit certain things about this this whole line of thinking that just kind of opens it up to like it ends up probably not, uh, proving me right anyway so um well Anyway, um, so I think these seven stars are much like the seven seals, and that when you, when, like, I'm conquering at them, I ultimately get the things that are like, you know, how it says for Jesus in the, uh, earlier portion or maybe it's right after uh when it's talking about the seals in the right hand and the line of the tribe of judah conquering at those seals okay i think it describes like all these things that uh can be given to the lamb who was slain right and uh i think what jesus is offering up is like look i'll give that to you too I'll grant you to sit with me on the throne and so it seems like this is what maybe my right hand like this is what this is building up to <laughs> big lightning huh I mean, I think so, actually, but <laughs> we're working our way up. No, I think Yahweh can do it, like, he didn't have any issue. But some of it feels like a lot of this is, like, preparation, like... getting uh like lessons in patience lessons in the way people act i do think i mean i really believe in what it says in revelation and uh you know it's just a place where people don't die like it's a singularity that seems fair.
Like, I think a lot of futures seem really depressing and, like, dystopian and stuff, but I don't think that's what it's offering. I think it's offering, like, a much better way. <laughs> the Yahweh. Like, whatever muscle set I'm in right now is, feels great. Again, it's like the outside pinky toes. This is just what I spend a lot of my time doing anyway, is like these kind of stretches. Oh, that was my right knee. There's definitely an imbalance on the right side. But if I can get it, well, when I get it fixed, I keep believing. Don't stop. Okay, I'm not even gonna <laughs> go with the rest of that. But yeah. Uh, There were some crazy instances of lightning the other in that other video. I mean, seriously, there's just been some wild stuff. I'm not sure what's happened tonight, and this is even something that I said that was the timing on that one was interesting. And again, I don't think it's timing. I think Yahweh controls it all, and it just feels like he's slowly but surely linking, like making it more obviously linked. over yet. 41 minutes. Here, I'm gonna check what it looks like. doesn't have to be five hours long. Well, that one video that's four and a half hours long, I literally had to change the, the time stamps to like a
emoji based system with a chart. I did that because you just only get you only get five thousand um, words to describe your video on YouTube. Personally, I was even saying I would pay. That like that should be one of those things where if you if you have premium, you can have unlimited description or something in your video. Just like a little thing like that, like I or you know extend it a lot longer. But whatever whatever in some some muscle group here feels really nice Mm. All right, this could be it. The clouds that I see directly above aren't really the types of storm clouds that... These aren't really storm clouds. I feel like I do think conditions are in the area, but... This is just some training. Just some training. Just some practice. We're just talking about practice. <laughs> I'll give it a few more minutes and then... But this will be like an hour long. I mean... It's no four and a half hour long video, but that's still, you know, that's plenty more stuff for me to do. I was gonna make a compilation of uh, recent storms, or like certain of the parts of it at least.
I've been working out pretty hard, um, or pretty consistently recently, and so uh, I'm pretty tired also just because I've been doing more stuff recently, and uh, you know, I was going to go to bed <laughs> before this came in, and then this came, and I was like, well, this would be a good opportunity to test some stuff out. I mean, I think it was interesting we got as much lightning as we did. And I think we got some... I mean, I don't know. I never know until after I go back over the video, honestly. Okay, I think I'm going to end this here with this, and then I'm going to go get the GoPro and wind down. So, hope you enjoyed, and I'm sure there will be another storm here soon. I'm not even, <laughs> like, this was a pleasant surprise, but I'm, I'm fairly certain there's going to be something like, uh, we'll get something nice soon as far as just, well, I mean... We've gotten some, like, nice storms, but I mean, something, I have a feeling something, uh, very spectacular soon, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is just, again, I felt like it was a nice, uh, like a nice, oh, a nice surprise. Pleasant. Okay. All right. Adios. Hmm. Lightning right there. I don't know if it caught that. It might have. It might have. So, uh, I'm gonna go get the GoPro really quick. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This one certainly isn't as long as uh, the previous one, so. It's actually kind of. Refreshing, but just because, like. I've watched a ton of overly long videos recently. They're not overly long, but like watching these, um, the whole video that I do, the compilate, like the combined view, making it and then watching it and time stamping it is like, hopefully, uh, again, I think it'd be cool to teach AI to do this. It's like, hey, this is what I would like you to do. Every time you see lightning, timestamp it. I don't think it would be that hard to teach or for it to learn.
And honestly, I'm sure it would see the stuff that I'm talking about where it's like, that looks suspicious, like a direct connection with the lightning, you know? So, let me. Let me get this set, and then I'm gonna go get the GoPro. But uh, in review, and I like watching the video over because I get to see this little stuff. It's just the four, the consecutive like three and a half hour hour long, and then four and a half hour long video. Eight hours of uh, <laughs> of storm. I definitely think there's going to be something soon where we actually, like, we haven't really got, we haven't gotten anything um, super intense, and, but I mean more lightning-wise, uh, I can do some more practicing with, um, so hopefully we get something soon, and that's what I'm saying, I think we're probably going to. All right, I started transferring. I'm going to go get the GoPro. I'm going to come back. Save. You know, I guess a few more words or something, if, if I even need to, and then... I probably don't even need to, and then go, so. We're just hanging out now. Well, I'm about to go. Yeah, I'll go quick. Grab it, and then I'll be back.
better before my door came off. But it's one of a couple, so I mean it's kind of off. So, copying the footage from the GoPro. I don't want to close this because if I close this, it'll uh, in the transfer. Oof. Transfer on that four hour one was st took a stupid long time. So I'm just trying not to get caught in that situation. Hold on. Okay. Make sure noise suppression is on. I left it off last time. So, um, okay. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully, I uh, got some good, good lightning. Oh, and I'm going to try to sync that video up, too. So we'll see how that works. But, okay. I'm going to end this here. And, uh, yeah, have a blessed one. Later. Yeah.